Why can't you find love? How long have you really been single? Really? Having trouble finding that special soulmate? I can solve this one. Secrets of Birthdays, now live for purchase. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my heroes, and welcome back to Soul Horoscope's Weekly Edition. I'm your host, Christopher Witecki. Well, we're moving through Aquarius, and with Valentine's Day right around the corner, we are hosting for one more week our Secrets of Birthdays sale. If you buy yourself a video report, you will get one free, and you, all you have to do is give us a time of birth. Pretty accurate, auto-edited just for you. Well, the Aquarius vibration is, thank God, it's not too intense, but I've noticed that space and time are going by pretty quickly. It seems like just yesterday I was up here on camera with you. The sun is in Aquarius and for the air eye it means you're upgrading your context consciousness. This is the part of your soul that is always figuring out who you are in context to something else. This manifests in your friendships, your sphere of influence, your business title, the type of people you hang out with, your social class, etc. So as we move into this week it's going to be a powerful week of shifting and moving into manifestation. Let's take a look at Monday's planet. On Monday, the sun is 17 degrees, Saturn is ruling the day, and the moon will be in Leo. Now, this is on countdown to a full moon on Tuesday, with the moon in Leo puts emotional focus on your inner child. So on Monday, you're really making decisions. What are you making decisions? Well, what your inner child wants to be out in the world. That is really what the decision is, who you see yourself in context, where you want to aim. Now, in the last show, we were looking to step away from what didn't work. Now, in this week, we'll be stepping toward what we believe does work and starting to manifest. So on Monday, with your emotions all filtered in your inner child and playful and wanting to play, it is time to decide. And of course, those watched over in GA will be texting you and reminding you to make the decision and the deadlines. On Tuesday, this is probably actually the pinnacle of the week, an early climax to the week, thanks to a full moon in Leo. You can see what a full moon is. It's an opposition. This is a tug of war between the sun and the moon if you want to play in childlike terms. What this comes down to is a stretch between two states of awareness. On one hand, the moon full in your inner child sector. So your emotions and your inner child is super excited. On the other, who am I in the world? How do I define myself? What are my titles? Okay, so going back and forth between that, what this comes down to is your emotions of what your inner child wants allows you to step away from the stubborn parts of yourself here in Aquarius. So there are parts that maybe you need to let go of. In other words, maybe you don't need everything you think you need. Your inner child will keep it clear. And I am happy to say that on Tuesday, this is a particularly powerful day for the Aries race because Mars will rule the day, your home planet, so you will feel very amped. Uh, those of you who are watched over by the Guardian Agency on Tuesday, we will be putting out a personal text. Now this text will be focusing on your own moon sign at your birth and how full moon will affect you, particularly in your story, on top of the Aries story. And that's for all my clients that I watch over through gatext.me, FYI. Another thing I want to bring up on Tuesday as the full moon is doing a tug of war is that Saturn is going retrograde. This is a big shift backwards now. It came to a pinnacle of 29 degrees, and now it will retrograde back. Now, I can't get deep into this in this horoscope, but for those of you who have purchased the Act 1 videos at Soul Mart, I definitely go into this about a third of the way into the video, maybe halfway through the video. So go back and watch that. But a retrograde does mean that long-term relationships and balancing acts, struggles and LTRs will begin to move backwards. You're going to reconsider. You're going to rethink. So it's interesting, as you were saying yes to your inner child, that you're being taken off the hook for relationship responsibility. Now, moving on to Wednesday. Things quiet up a little bit Wednesday. Taurus is going to be working uh, with the Aquarius vibration. It's a heavy manifestation day, and we are blessed with a temporary soul pyramid in Earth. Check this out. So right after deciding and releasing, right away we are manifesting, moving into Chapter 3. What this grand trine is is caused by the moon. Moving into Virgo is what happens on the second half of the day. So inner child, first half, then more reality, more your daily reality. And what this comes down to for the Rams is you're beginning to feel 
your new daily reality with this moon sign. You are feeling your new daily reality. It's tying into the new value system you have. Jupiter saying, raise your prices and go for it. And you're killing off the old story, the old legacy. So on, uh, by manifesting Tuesday for your place in the world, because that's what the manifestation is, you are doing all this. Expanding your worth, feeling a new reality, and getting rid of the old career story. That is on Wednesday, powerful day there. Thursday, the moon rules the day. It'll be an emotional day, and the moon will be whole, uh, far into Virgo. So emotions are really in your hyper awareness. You're feeling every bump in the road on Thursday. If you've been or had an emotional week, this might catch up to your body on Thursday. So you definitely want to do some exercise, some clearing, uh, and at the same time, emotions rule the day. So emotions are kind of catching up with everything you're trying to manifest. We also move into chapter three of Sun in Aquarius, which means it's now time to take our feelings about the situation, your feelings about where you want to be in society, your feelings about who you want to be, your sphere of influence, and now we're going to apply our emotions behind the direction we want to go, behind the decision that we made, and behind the releases that we did with the full moon. So Thursday is an emotional day. We're getting kind of our emotions in order. On Friday, things are pretty groovy, actually. It's going to be a happy Friday. We've got Jupiter ruling the day, so things are looking up. You're seeing nothing but opportunity. If you want to go out and do something with a friend, I would certainly say that Friday is the day with Jupiter ruling. Uh, the moon is now crossing over Mars in the last 24 hours and moving into Libra. So you're going to be feeling much more amped. You're past all the daily heavy reality uh, parts for yourself. And this is a day really to explore your options. So on Friday, go shop. Go find new friends. If you decide you want a different part of town to live in, Friday is the day you want to get in the car and you want to just drive. You want to explore and get your options. Your emotions and how you feel about it are uber important uh, as you are exploring on Friday. Also, don't forget on Friday, we've got our new show, SG Live, starring myself and Carolyn Nagel. Last week's kickoff went pretty well. It was a lot of fun. A lot of viewers are surprised that I'm actually pretty funny when I'm not handcuffed to a horoscope. So come on down on Friday if you want. We'll send out with text reminders to those in GA and come hang out with us for an hour and a half. That's at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. Then over the weekend, it's going to be kind of a hostile Saturday. Uranus rules the day on Saturday. That is breakdown breakthrough. Okay, so there's going to be some breakthrough or breakdown. Uh, again, with your context consciousness, certain contexts that don't work or on uh, thin floss of support will break apart. Weak friendships break apart. This is the chapter three breakthrough though. So this is the least extreme out of all three breakthroughs we get in a certain transit. But it's interesting that Uranus is ruled and look at this, Venus and Uranus dead conjunct the same day. Sometimes the orchestra of the planets is overwhelming, let me tell you. What this means is for the Aries race, Venus, which is the planet of I give, receive, crosses Uranus in Aries. What does that mean? It means it is time to give and receive and innovate your ego. That's what it is. It's a cue for you to receive what's necessary for you to innovate your ego, to put your ego aside as necessary to innovate your ego. Uranus in your sign is going to be innovating you and helping you take your ego higher and higher. This is a cool thing because think of how barbaric the ego consciousness is as far as what society thinks ego is. This is Aries's job here and Venus here. You are now going to start to innovate mankind's definition of ego for the first time since 1927. Pretty cool, right? So that really begins and I think you are feeling it on Saturday. You definitely want to check in with me. On Sunday, it's a chill day. Mercury rules the day. The moon is in Libra. Your emotions have shifted over now to long-term relationships and who you are and how things are balanced. Things are much more calm. Uh, Venus has moved just one degree off of Uranus by Sunday, so that intensity shifts. So Sunday is definitely kind of a spiritual day. Works out that way. I guess we're all resting and pretty gravy. Now, don't forget to come on down to our mothership. We had a lot of people join last week, start to meet our family. That is at soulgarden.me. Uh, this trailer down here is what all the chitter chatter is with the fellow Rams. You should come on down and read our writers. Got some fascinating topics on the plate. Like to hear your opinion. You're welcome anytime. All right, Ram, that's all I have for this week. I will see you in seven days. Until then, live, love, be.